Okay. So, greeting to all our viewers. Today, we'll have a conversation with Anika, who ranked 19 in Gate Geomatics Engineering Examination. Our viewers who are looking forward to chatting with the toppers or experts can contact us on either findmytest.com or chat with the help of WhatsApp number given in the description. Hi, Anika. I am Kriti Mehta, a team member of findmytest.com. Congratulations for securing All India Rank 19 in Gate Geomatics Engineering 2022 Examination. So, uh, would you mind introducing yourself to Thanks our so much. Yeah, sure, Kriti. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot for the introduction that you gave me. Uh, my name is Anakha. So, I did my B.Tech in Civil Engineering from Amrita uh, Vishwavidya Bidam uh, in Coimbatore. After that, I'm actually now a student in uh, Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, uh, IIRS, uh, doing my M.Tech in Remote Sensing and GIS. Yeah, yeah, Kriti. Yeah. Okay. So what is your GATE score and marks in GATE 2022 examination? Uh, my GATE score is out of 1000, it was 64.67 and rank is 19. Okay. So how many times have you attempted the GATE examination? Yeah, GATE previously I had written twice in that was in civil engineering, both the times I didn't clear. I this is a this is my third attempt that in geo uh, geomatics engineering yeah okay so uh, when did you decide that you want to attempt a gate examination as a serious career option and when did you start preparing for gate geomatics yeah so I okay Priti. yeah actually uh, so I was studying I told no I was just, I'm an I'm, I'm epic student so as soon as they introduce this new subject. I wanted to take this as a career option, like seriously, because uh, we are not so sure what are the, since it is an upcoming field, we're not so sure what are the different possibilities available. So I just didn't want to miss any opportunity. So whatever opportunity was coming, I wanted to pursue that. So I felt great, would be great in geomatics engineering would be a great choice. That's how I chose that. Okay. So um, you had other career option as well, right? Like you could have gone for some job or um, like hmm. an examination. So why did you choose GATE over other options? Yeah, uh, since my background is engineering, so I felt GATE is a better option and I want to stay in this technical field itself. So right now I'm in an option like I want to pursue, I have to expertise in this field. So uh, my so I want to do my research and further studies in it. So I feel GATE is the best choice. Okay. So uh, as we know, this was the first time, uh, you know, GATE held geomatics entering examination. So um, according to you, what was the difficulty level of this examination? Yeah, since it was the first time, obviously it was full of uncertainties. We don't know what would be asked, what would the question level be like, nothing. But uh, comparatively, I felt the uh, exam was not tough, a medium type. Yeah. So, um, which books or study material did you follow for gate preparation? Could you please name some books that you know help that will help gate aspirants? Okay, yeah. Because actually, I didn't follow any book as such because you know gate needs a different way of approach than from our usual conventional study. So I didn't. Uh, what I did was I went. I went through the syllabus. And according to the syllabus, I prepared. And for preparation, I actually use the NPTEL videos uh, by the various IIT. So I, seeing the subject, or I mean, seeing the topics, I searched that. I went through a video. If I feel that, no, okay, some more um, information is needed, then I go to another video. So it's basically my preparation was through NPTEL videos. So what are some important topics that should be specially focused when you're taking into consideration, you know, this examination? So okay. go on. Yeah, yeah, Kriti. So topics are as such, uh, maybe I don't think right now if I tell something, it would be a right answer because we just have a one exam that was over. So uh, important topics, you'll need an analysis over over a few years. But what I feel is that there are some topics I actually, since we have an uh, option, right? In section B, either you can take a survey remote sensing part. So I did uh, the surveying part. Uh, so in that, I felt that some topics are there like uh, maps, numbering, and uh, aerial photogrammetry. So those topics are easy to score because there is 
there is an extent to which the questions can be asked in those subjects. So if you prepare and if a question comes, surely you'll be able to do that questions. So those are a few of the topics like uh, map numbering and aerial photography, uh, aerial photogrammetry, few areas are the ones which I feel that are important. And apart from that, in the comment section, uh, GPS, GPS and GNSS part is also important because we had few questions and there can be, I mean, more questions also is there. And another thing I made sure is that for the, there is an aptitude part, right? So just score, give your full in the aptitude part so that you don't miss that 15 questions. Just make sure that you're able to correct uh, correctly attempt those 15 questions. That is another thing I did. Yeah, yeah. So um, how does the Find My Test series help you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, the way, the, in actually the, reason why I joined test series was because of the uncertainty in the first first time examination. So actually going through the fun, my test series, I could find out what are the areas to concentrate and what are the things, okay, what are the topics I'm, uh, which I need more concentration on. And that is one thing. Another part is that I could manage my time. So, so since it was a, like I, there was no coaching or nothing, right? So in order to get into that track, how to write an exam, how to sit that long and how to attempt questions, what is the time management you need? That is, I got from the test series. Okay. So um, yeah. what was your daily timetable, like during mm -hmm. the preparation? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Kriti, like a uh, timetable as it I started in my preparation in September. So from September, it was like, uh, I did, daily I didn't have a timetable. Uh, what I did was I would the time uh, with the syllabus. With, we have a syllabus, right? So from that I got the topics and I divided the topics in in like uh, for few days for each topic. How many days can be given? So that is how uh, first I divided it like that. So and I made it in such a way that I can complete the syllabus in two months. Okay, so. Uh, so once I did that, I, I tried my level best to complete the syllabus within two months. Then I went for revision. That is what I did. I, and daily, there is nothing like daily timetable. What is, what I did some, I did something like, it was flexible kind of thing. Because not like from this hour to this hour. No, I didn't sit. I was given, I, if a topic requires three days, within three days, I tried to complete it. However, I sit. Maybe I'll sit, maybe I'll sit for five hours a day. Next day, may I, maybe I'll say seven hours a day. So within the given time for the subject, I complete that subject. That is how I did. Okay. So uh, what was your revision strategy? As there is a competitive examination, revision is very important, right? And uh, yeah. during when the examin examination is so near, you can't go through each and every topic again. So yeah. how did you revise? Yeah, basically, uh, what I followed was was by writing notes, and and yeah, as you correctly the final time it would be like so much, so you won't be able to go through everything. So what I did was uh, once I created a notes for my after I mean after the first preparation, there are some topics which we would always remember, and there are some topics which we won't remember. So what I don't remember, uh, what I made another notes, a short notes for that. And not just no, notes for that things. And while attempting questions, you'll get stuck in some questions. How much ever you try, you may not get it. So just the solution also, you, I'll, I, what I did was I just, okay, mentioned. So if this is a question, this is how. I just mentioned and kept. So made a short note like that. And yeah, that was what finally I devised. So just before the final, um, maybe uh, after the first revision, you will have few pages of revision. I mean, few pages of notes. After the next step, it will uh, become short to one page. I think you can get the point. Yeah, after each revision, whichever, uh, whichever area I'm getting stuck, I write it separately and keep so that, okay, I can, give more importance to that. That is how I used to do.
So, um, what was your strategy for attempting question in exam hall? Because even though you gave test series, yes, that might have helped you, but the environment in examination hall is totally different, right? Totally so, how different. was yes. your strategy for attempting the questions over there? Okay, strategy for attempting questions there was like, uh, first, uh, I went through the questions. Okay, the first A part is common to everybody. So whichever I was able to uh, write it in first go, I did it, which I felt that I need time, I kept it for review. Because I felt maybe after seeing all questions, I can come back and give it time. So I did that for the first part. And for the second, uh, second we have a choice, right? Between surveying and um, remote sense and the digital image processing, we have a choice. So I went through all the questions in both the parts and just saw which is easier. I felt the surveying easier. So I came back to surveying and attempted the questions there also. And the same strategy that in first go, whatever I could do at that time, I did. Rest I left for review. Then after finishing the whole paper, I went back and did. Another thing I followed was taking calculator risk. Like uh, there will be some problem like, uh, um, actually the problem comes with the multiple select type. It will be very confusing. Even if one answer goes wrong, the whole question goes wrong. So those questions might need some time. So just try at first go if you're able to do it, well and good. If not, don't worry. Just keep it, review, keep it full and come later and do it. That's it. And yeah, uh, this is how I used to do. Like if I'm able to solve the question in one minute or two minutes, I'll give that time. If not able to do within whatever, I might have reached the last step also. It's okay, leave it because two minutes, each minute is important for us, right? So if I'm not able to complete that uh, question in that time frame, I leave it and go to the next question and come back again. That's what I used to do. Okay. So um, any suggestion for gate aspirants? Yeah, gate aspirants suggestions. I don't know whether I'm the right person to give them the suggestions uh, because. Uh, one thing I felt was that don't miss any opportunity. Let it be gate, whatever it is. Because com considering this field, that is the geoinformatics field, it's an upcoming field. So, and we are right now in the process of finding out new opportunities. And seriously, I was, to be honest, I was a person who was confused whether to give this exam, right? This is the first time. So should I write the exam or should I just wait for this year and just see how the questions are and then give it the next year? So uh, it was my parents uh, actually support and they are the ones who told me, just give it a try. Let it be whatever the result may be. Just give it a try. Give your best and rest leave it. That is not in our hands. So don't do that. So just give your best and just come back. So that is what motivated me. And that is how I went and wrote the exam, to be honest. Uh, so what I want, uh, yeah, the J uh, aspirants to understand is that just prepare, give your best, just leave it, and don't miss any opportunity. And take calculated risk. Like, uh, if you're not so, suppose there are few questions which have negative and which doesn't have negative. If it is a question which we are, there is no negative mark, attempt it. Whatever answer you get, just attempt it. It might be wrong, it might be correct. Let it be. But don't miss the chance to attempt it. Yeah, that's great. That's all. And just believe in yourself because I was the one who didn't clear uh, gate both the times. First attempt, even after I had gone for coaching and I couldn't clear gate that time too. But if I had taken that seriously, even now and start, like I wouldn't have achieved what I got today. So just, okay, there are times like that. Don't worry. Everybody has their time like that. But if something is for you, you will surely get it. Don't miss any opportunity. Yes, Kriti, that's what I have. Thank you, Anaga, for your questions. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, congratulations and find my test Thank team, Shiva. Yeah. And thank you. Reminder to all our viewers who are looking forward to chatting with the toppers or experts can contact us either on findmytest.com or chat with the help of the WhatsApp number given in the description. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks again. Thanks a lot, Queen. Thank you so much.